What if Ames never went out of business in 2002 and they were still in business today? Well, that would have meant that Target probably wouldn't have had a big influence in the Northeast and they because they bought a lot of locations of Ames and also Kohl's did too. So those two stores wouldn't have had a big influence in the Northeast now like they do now if Ames never went out of business. Now, Ames was opened in 1958 by Milton and Ermin Gilman after they had the name of Ames from the old textile company they bought. Now, Ames not going out of business probably would have meant that they didn't buy Hills. So Hills would have probably would have been in business too. Because the reason why Ames went out of business is because they bought Hills. So that would have meant that Hills would have been in business as well. So also would have meant that there would have been less competition. But still, there would have been two uh, iconic stores that were... When, that went out of business in the early 90s and early 2000s. I mean, late 90s, early 2000s. So that would have been that Ames would have still been in business. And also Hills probably would have still in business. Maybe. I don't know. But Ames probably wouldn't have had many locations. They probably, probably had like 20-something locations if they were still in business. Well, imagine the world if Ames was still in business.